What's up everybody? Brian Lopez here again for my third installment in my vlog series. So thank y'all so much for joining me. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to y'all about macronutrients. I'll try to keep this one short because I've kind of been going a little longer than I really want to be doing these videos for. But, you know, that's just so much info I can uh, kind of want to let you guys know. And I think I'm being brief and then I go to edit these, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get started, alright? Alright y'all, so we're back in my kitchen. I know, I know, but get used to it. This is going to be a reoccurring thing. Because I did tell y'all, diet is the most important thing. You cannot train a bad diet. So with that being said, I don't know if y'all can see, but I got a few things set up here on my cutting board. I'm going to show y'all some examples of what macronutrients are. So um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Alright y'all, so here on my cutting board, I have the three macronutrients that I was talking about. Um, first off, we're going to start with carbs. So I got a bag of uh, steamable sweet potatoes here. I really like these um, because it's practical, it's really fast to use. But uh, more than anything, we're going to be just talking about what carbs are. So uh, carbs are uh, your, your starches, your fibrous, that's what your body naturally wants to run off. And that's for a reason. It's uh, really easy to process. Your body turns that and automatically turns it into energy. So that's what you want to go ahead and eat if you're trying to build muscle. If you're an athlete, if you want to go ahead and have that high burst of energy, that your glycogen is going to be really up. And it, it's really easy to process, which is why it's recommended. Now, with that being said, you want to stay away from your really simple, uh, like, like white bread, stuff like that, you know, stuff that is not a lot of, it's just, it's just empty calories for the most part. You want to stay away from that. So you want to go ahead and uh, get you something like a sweet potato, which has a lot of nutrients to it. It's not even a potato. It's more of a root. Well, I guess a potato is a root anyways, but it's, it's filled with a lot of fiber. It's, um, you know, almost about the same calories as a potato, but again, the benefits are way better and it's a good alternative. So here we have some chicken. I went ahead and meal prepped some chicken earlier today. I like to use my Sundays as my meal prep day. And um, what protein is for the most part, whenever I think of protein, I mean, you can also have protein in nuts and stuff like that, but I think uh, your meat. So that's when you have your beef, that's when you have your seafood, your tuna, your salmon, shrimp, all that stuff, and your poultry, you have uh, your turkey, you have your chicken, you know, you can have um, uh, just any type of meat. That's where your protein is usually gonna come from. And it's usually mixed in with fat. But for the most part, that, that's your protein right there. And lastly, we have our fats. And you can see here that I have one of the best fats of all of them, an avocado. And uh, this is a staple when it comes to the ketogenic diet, especially, especially if you're doing the ketogenic diet. This thing is full of potassium. It's so good for you. The benefits are tremendous. And it's delicious. I mean, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm Hispanic, but I've met plenty of people that aren't, and they love avocados. Uh, great, great, great fruit. It's, it's amazing. They make really good smoothies, too. Uh, another thing uh, for a fat is, uh, let's say, coconut oil. Uh, this thing has just been proven, and the research shows just how tremendous this is for your health. People have been using it for conditioner. They've been using it as moisturizer for their skin. And it, it's just also a great source of nutrients for your body. So it's, it's a great healthy fat. So these are the types of fat that I recommend if you're going to put any kind of fats in your body. And that's what I talk about when I talk about a ketogenic diet. On top of nuts, which are also really fibrous and full of protein along with the fat. You know, one of the best combinations you can have. So, for the most part, just really quick, that is the three macronutrients, y'all. Uh, these are the best type of things that you can combine together. You can add your fat and then your protein. Great combination. Always want to have your protein with your carbs if you're going to have carbs. You don't want to have your fats with your carbs because then your insulin levels are going to spike up. You're gonna have a bad time, so try to stay away from that combination as much as possible. But you can't go wrong with just having protein as the kind of thing that everything revolves around. So uh, those are the three macronutrients. All right, y'all, real quick before I go, I wanted to kind of talk to you about the different types of uh, carbs there are because carbs are very diverse and what falls into a carb category is a lot more diverse than, um, let's say, proteins or fats for the most part. So um, here's an example of what I told you a carb was, sweet potatoes, great source of fiber, really good for you. You know what's also a carb and it falls into that category? Strawberries. I love strawberries. I put them in my protein shake all the time. Great source of antioxidants. Really good for you. It gives a little sweetness to it and it's not too overbearing. So that's a carb. You know what else is a carb? You have your sugar. Your sugar is a carb. You want to stay away from this stuff. I would show you some actual sugar, but remember I told you that if you don't have something in your house, you're not going to eat it. Uh, I don't have any sugar in my house. I don't need it. Uh, I've never been a sweet tooth, so that was easy for me to kind of substitute. I like t uh, sometimes honey in my tea, so that's why I have honey here. And then you have your leafy vegetables. So you have your salads, y'all. Great source of micronutrients when you start thinking about really honing down on your uh, 
uh, your calorie intakes and just making sure you're getting all your vitamins in there. So those are all carbs as well. Uh, and you wanna go ahead and try to have those in your diet as much as possible. Everyone's told you, eat a lot of salads. It's for a reason, they're good for you. You get your macronutrients, your vitamins. But sometimes uh, that still can't be replenished, so you have to go ahead and try to maybe get some, um, some, some, some daily supplements in there from time to time to make sure that you're getting all the vitamins you need, depending on what your goals are. So there you go, guys. All right, y'all. So those are the three types of macronutrients. Again, you have your carbs, you have your protein, and you have your fats. And depending on what your goals are, you can go ahead and kind of mix those uh, in certain percentages. Uh, for the ketogenic diet, again, you want to make sure you have your fats really, really high up really low carbs and but that doesn't mean stay away from your uh, your vegetables and all that kind of stuff matter of fact uh, in my refrigerator I have a top like 20 list of low carb vegetables great source of micronutrients and protein you can't go wrong with it uh, you've got you got to be able to have some muscle and it's gonna help you lose fat when you have muscle so um, I hope that I kept this brief let me know what you guys think so far this vlog series I'm trying to go ahead and just uh, kind of introduce people because whenever I started this whole process and this whole journey I was on YouTube all the time getting different perspective from different people how they saw this how they went about it and kind of what these aspects of your meal plan and your lifestyle were so hopefully I can just share some um, some simplified details on it and kind of uh, add to your knowledge as you're watching other stuff and reading other uh, articles because you guys need to do your own research on this I'm just providing the information. Hopefully, y'all can digest it, take it, and use it for your goals and improve your lifestyle. But again, don't forget, it's a mentality thing. It's a lifestyle. So, um, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. Strive for success. Sip it in. Sip it out.